Hey guys, and welcome back to another tricky A-level maths exam question. Now today I may have been a little bit misleading. This isn't the trickiest uh, sort of style exam question, but this is part of the mechanics from the new spec. And this was originally on the old M2, so it's it can be a bit tricky, and the mechanics is generally pretty poorly done um, by students. So we're going to just go through a mechanics question today, and it's six marks, and we're looking at forces. Um, and we're also looking at the derivatives of, like, for example, velocity. The derivative of velocity gives us acceleration and so on. So we're going to take a little bit of a look at that. So part A first. Well, we've got a particle P of mass 0.5 kilograms moves under the action of a single force, F newtons, at time T seconds. And the velocity of P is given by this formula here. So we're asked to find the acceleration of P at time T seconds for the first two marks. So how can we do this? Well, what I'd always recommend doing is writing down the SVA little line or chart, so SVA. So remember, if you need to go up, so to get from acceleration to velocity, you need to integrate. So that's integrating. And then if you're going down, so you need to get from displacement to velocity, to get from velocity to acceleration, that's derivatives, so dy by dx, for example. So that's how to remember it. So it's SVA going up, we integrate. If we're going down, we differentiate. So that's how to remember it. So we need the acceleration and we have the velocity. So we've got the velocity, but we need acceleration. We need to differentiate. So let's differentiate this. So we're differentiating with respect to t. So this is actually dv by dt. So if we differentiate this now with respect to t, what this is actually going to give us, it's going to give us 6t i, so don't forget your i at the end because it's the i component, 6ti, 3t squared, differentiate that gives you 6t, 1 minus 4t, so if you differentiate this, this is just going to give you minus 4, so this is minus 4j. So that is literally the first two marks done, as easy as that. The second bit's a little bit trickier, so part b, we have to find the magnitude of f when t is 2. So the part a is done to help us with part b. And what we need to remember for part B is that Newton's second law and what it states. So that means F is equal to mass times acceleration. So F is equal to MA. And F we don't know yet. That's what we're going to find. We're going to find the magnitude of F when T is 2. But we know the mass is 0.5 kilograms. And we know the acceleration. This is acceleration. So that's acceleration A. So, if we do 0.5 times this, uh, sorry, what we're doing, when t is 2, sorry, so when we put t is 2 into this, what's that going to give us? Well, we put 0.5 times, so when it's t is 2, if we put that in, that's going to be 12i, so 12i minus 4j, so the j won't change. So what do we get when we perform this? Um, calculation. So f is going to be equal to 6i minus 2j. So we have the force now, but we need the magnitude. So remember the magnitude of the side of the force is just the square root. So f magnitude, that's going to be equal to the square root of 6 squared plus minus 2 squared So that's going to be square root of 36. And at this point, you can literally just put it on your calculator and get an answer. Um, or you can simplify and then get the final answer. That's square root of 40. And you can simplify that again. So that would be uh, 2 root 10. Or if we had to give it as a numerical answer, this would be approximately 6.32. And again, remember, because this is a force, we need to write newtons like so. And there we have it. So it's not the trickiest exam question today, um, but a little bit on mechanics. I know it's quite a tricky one for a lot of students, so hopefully that helps there. And this part's very essential. If you can't remember, if you struggle with this bit, always write this down. It's key to helping you with these questions.